Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we will see how to use alerts in Avaya Proactive Contact. The alerts in Proactive Contact provide notification, either visual, audio or even email notifications, when one of these parameters go beyond a predetermined level. These can be based on job or agent performance, system or job status, or the line usage performance parameters. The alert configuration can be managed through the health manager or the monitor application of the supervisor suite. Please note that the monitor or health manager should be open and running on the workstation to receive the alerts. Let's now see how to manage the alerts. On my screen, I have a monitor application open. You can see that I have three jobs running, job out BND, out BND one and one shadow job. I go to the settings menu and click on alerts and it will open up the alert viewer box. I click on add and that will bring up the alert editor. Here you can see the various types of parameters on which you can configure an alert and receive notification. For example, you can place an alert if the average idle time of the agent goes beyond a value or average talk time goes beyond a specific value. Similarly, there are parameters like total idle or total talk time, etc. There is a parameter for line utilization also. That is, you can place an alert if the total lines in use go beyond a particular value. Then there are agent completion codes total, that is if you want to be notified if a particular completion code has been disposed of with X number of times, etc. So for example, I want to place an alert on average idle time. I'll select the average idle time here and I'll choose the operator as greater than. And for the value, I'll select as maybe 20 minutes. This is just an example, you can put any number of minutes here. I click on apply, and then I click on OK. So here you will see that this alert is currently enabled. The status is off, which means that this alert condition has not been reached yet. When it does, it will automatically turn it to on status. And it also shows the condition that the average idle time should be greater than 20 minutes. And under the scope, it shows any dialer, any job and any agent. So basically this alert is applicable to any dialer in the pod if it's a podded system, any job that is running on the system and any agent that is logged in. You can actually narrow down this further by choosing your dialer, your job or your agent. Let's try to do that here. So I select my alert and click on the edit button. I go to the scopes tab. For dialer, it will show only one dialer here because I don't have a podded system here. If it was a podded system, it would have showed all the dialers here and you could have selected a specific dialer or you could select any dialer here. Then under the job, it shows three jobs running. I can select any particular job if I want or leave it as any job. And similarly for the agent, it will show all the agents who are logged in currently. You can select any one of them or you can leave it as any agent. The notification tab lets you set the way you want to be notified. The display alert is by default selected, which means an alert box pops up on your screen when the alert condition is reached. Also, there is a sound alert and there is an email alert option also. For receiving email alerts, your email server configuration must be set up correctly. So I can select the alert types here that I want, then I click apply. You can create more than one alerts. So let's create one more alert here. So I click on add. And this time I select maybe the agent completion code total. You'll see that the completion code box here is enabled now. Let me select maybe completion code 22. I'll keep the operator as greater than. And for value, let me put it as 5. Click apply. And to narrow down, 
the job I'll select as OutBND1. That is the job on which my agent is logged in. And for notifications, I want to receive a visual and an audio notification. I click Apply and click OK. So this means that I want to be notified when my job OutBND1 has got more than five completion code 22s. In the next screen, you can see I have a job completion code view open. It is showing the job OutBND1 and it has so far received four completion code 22s. My agent is still logged into this job and working on calls. The agent releases more calls with code 22 and when it reaches a count of six, you will see that the alert was generated. So you can see more calls have been disposed of with completion code 22. And since the criteria was greater than five, now that the total is six, the alert has been generated. It tells you the details of the alert that was set and also what's the current value it reached, etc. And also if we had set up an email notification, we would have received the email with the same alert details as well. So this is how you can use the alerts in a via proactive contact. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at avaya.com or at avaya mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.